Tom. Welcome to a brand new week. I'm still on a hold. It has been six hours. And in my ear right now, I'm hearing the message that my call is so appreciated. I'm on the phone with my bank because I'm trying to figure out stuff about my auto loan. I was supposed to pick up my Tesla today but I didn't have all the paperwork for it yet. So I thought, maybe I can call Bank of America, see what's up. Last night I was on hold for two hours. Manatee hung up the call on his own. What happened was I was doing the same thing I'm doing now with the, ear, with the, uh, the earbud. He managed to get the other one out, which he was able to, it, this base, this, this earbud, these earbuds are basically like touch sensitive. He tapped it with his nose, and that hung up the call. And I tried to call back, but it was past closing. So I thought, I'll try again earlier. I'll try again earlier. I woke, let's see. Ooh, let's see. My phone is plugged in right now. It is around 3.30 right now, so I started this journey of being on hold with the bank. Six hours ago, at 10.30 in the morning. I think I'm doing the math right in that one. It might actually be 9.30 in the morning. Needless to say, I'm not happy. And it's Yu-Gi-Oh! night tonight. In an hour and a half, like Chilled, Z, Light, Lennon, Aphex, they're all coming over to play Yu-Gi-Oh! So let's see if I still got this in, the, in my ear by the end of the night, if I'm still trying to listen for any hope that they're gonna answer. I guess I could keep talking about uh, stuff that's been going on. Yesterday, I took him to the park. He's been a pretty good boy. He's been a real good boy because in the time that I've been on hold, let's go back to that before I discuss the day. In the time I've been on hold, I managed to clean the downstairs to, for everybody to come. Clean on my car because, I, because I'm trading that in for the Tesla. Drive down to where I was supposed to pick up the Tesla because I didn't realize I needed those documents. Go to Bank of America for two hours and we'll have one of the associates be on hold on her own line to try to get through. And have, the, and have them send an email. Then went grocery shopping to get snacks for Yu-Gi-Oh! night. And now here I am. Six hours into this hold and I am not going to stop until either they pick up or they decide that their queue is too long so they're going to cut me off when they close. Yesterday, I took Manatee to the park. I was going to stream, but hey, say la vie. Monday, uh, because, uh, because tonight's Yu-Gi-Oh! night, uh, I recorded a bunch more of the Elder Scrolls Skyrim up to episode 22. Uh, and on, on Monday, uh, as of Monday, only episode 7 was out. So I'm 15 episodes ahead in terms of recording. And Dan's doing a great job editing that. I'm trying to think. Next, uh, it's coming Monday, Donkey Kong Country Returns ends, and I've already recorded the first parts of that Let's Play, of the Let's Play following that, so, you know, things are looking, looking up there. What else, what else? Oh man, I think, buddy, were you chewing on, you were chewing on something while I was gone. In the time I was gone, he was, as far as I could tell, a good boy, but I haven't checked the bedroom yet, so there's a good chance that he might have done something bad up there. Anyway... I'm going to continue being on hold, and I'm going to keep getting ready for Yu-Gi-Oh! night, and may God help me. Thank you for your patience. Your business is greatly appreciated. It's what I'm hearing in my ear right now. So 
one thing that's really neat about that is that you could throw away... <sighs> what day is it even today? Thursday? It is Thursday! And it's finally done! I was at... I think I was at hour six when I filmed that last bit on the vlog of where I was being on hold. And about a half hour later, I got a, I, I received the word of God from Jesus, the loan officer. <laughs> we finally got my auto loan settled. And now today, I'm heading back up to North Austin to pick up my Tesla. So... I'm going to be doing that now. However, before, uh, but, but uh, one thing I was really afraid of is that I would still be on the on hold with Bank of America while everybody came over for Yu-Gi-Oh! night. And uh, I wasn't, so that was really good. And uh, everybody came over here. We had a great time. Uh, people playing cards, people watching wrestling, eating plenty of good food or snacks, just really snacks. Uh, drinking, uh, drinking sodas and uh, adult beverages. And just joking around, having a great time, and you know, it's always it's always nice to have people over or, or go over to other people's houses, and like you know, I'm I'm really grateful for the uh, for you know the the friends I've made along the way, and and that you know we can just hang out, forget our troubles, and just play some children's card games. But anyway, I'm gonna get going because I gotta go pick up that car. I feel like a caveman in this thing. It's nuts. Like, it's so minimalistic. You know, that's your dashboard, or that's like your, your heads-up display for, like, your speed and, like, everything else. You don't got anything on the dash. There's so much room to look around. It's nuts. Like, it's actually nuts. <laughs> this is the, uh, the, um, long-range all-wheel drive model of the, uh, the Model 3. Uh... Which uh, which would be good if I if I decide to make long drives anywhere, trips to San Antonio, um, road trips, you know all that jazz. Depending on where I could find superchargers, uh, that'll uh, that might you know that might become come in handy. I think this thing has a built-in uh, this thing has has like a built-in like GPS and Wi-Fi and all that, which is really like bonkers to me. Uh, and I think the GPS has uh, has where you could find superchargers built in. Well, I don't need a supercharger, I can just charge it at home as well, so no more trips to the gas station unless I really want a burrito. <clears throat> but like I'm just I've just been fiddling around with all the settings so far and like driving it. One thing that's really weird on this thing is that while you're driving it, you know how like when you drive a car, as you do, uh, you when you let go of the accelerator, it like it rolls and it slows. This doesn't do that. When you let go of the accelerator, it applies the brake. <laughs> so, you know, you, you kind of have to, like, ease up off the accelerator as opposed to just letting go of it. You can change the settings in there, but apparently it's better if you leave it on where uh, it'll break when you let go of the accelerator. Because the... Because doing that allows the brake to, like... I th I'm trying to, I don't know, like, the technic technicality of it. Basically, it applies a uh, charge back into the battery. So, like, you know, it, it could be hel helpful in long trips. Help save up battery in that regard. They also gave me a, a little, um, a little, like, Model 3 model, which is really neat. And they didn't have it in my car's color. I got, I got blue, this is red. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, I am the proud owner of a Tesla Model 3. I'm currently in the parking lot of the uh, of the service station right now, which is like just down the street from where I picked it up. Uh, so I'm going to try to drive this back and not total it. Whew. So I made it home. Uh, didn't crash the car. Learned how to drive it along the way. As uh, there are a couple of weird differences with it. The main one being that by default, there's a setting on it where if you let go of the accelerator, um, instead of just like coasting along, it will apply uh, it will apply like a special brake on it that puts charge basically it converts like the energy of the of like the spinning wheels and puts charge back into the battery. 
So I'm wondering if I, I'm probably going to have to like switch between those because I don't want to get to the point where if I have to say drive another car later down the line, uh, that I forget that they coast because that's, that's a recipe for disaster right there. So I might switch between, uh, that like, that, that like auto braking setting and the, um, and coasting. Uh, just so I can kind of get used to it, but not completely unlearn how to drive uh, your your average run of the mill twenty twenty one car. Anyway, after I got back, uh, he had been a very good boy of uh, you know just kind of waiting around at home. Manatee. All right. So I took him to the park, uh, and I guess in the evenings a lot more people come there because I guess they're getting off of work and they're just like, well, you were home all day, might as well take you to the park to get you some exercise and uh, you know give you a little bit of fun. So, uh, there were a lot of dogs there. And, like, one thing with him is that, like, he's got, he has a lot of, like, loose skin. And it causes a lot of other dogs to want to, like, like, you know, play with him and bite him. So, like, a lot of the other dogs were, like, grabbing at his face and, like, pulling at it. One was trying to shake with it in his mouth. But, like, you know, it's because he's got such, like, a, a gentle nature and, and a soft, squishable face that you just want to... I'm, I'm sorry, I lost my head there. But anyway... He, uh, he got, um, he, he was, like, bit a lot, but he wasn't, like, there was only one time where he was yelping out in pain from it. You know, he was, uh, I don't want to say he's a masochist, but, you know, he just, he just took it as playing. Um, but he got very dirty, which is why he's wet now. I had to hose him down before, uh, before we got in. I actually don't think I ever, I showed the car. I showed the interior of it. But, uh, yeah, I got a, I got a blue Tesla Model 3. Looks like this, but blue and bigger. Uh, that was a gift that they gave me with the, uh, with the Tesla itself. Here it is, the large boy. I like that coloring a lot. Multiple colors you can get it in, uh, but it upcharges if you get anything but white. I think it goes like uh, white for the baseline and then blue, black, and silver is extra and then red is the most expensive. So yeah, I gotta, Got to learn how to drive a, a car all over again. Also, another thing that I have to do, well, I already did it, but I had to order a, um, a special charging adapter because the one they give me is for a 110 volt outlet. And uh, I've got a, I think it's either 220 or 240. I, I, either way, a higher voltage um, outlet in there that'll help it charge faster. Um, so, uh, so I ordered an adapter for that. I don't know when it's gonna get here. And if I had the foresight for it, I probably, could have just gone to the, actually, so I had to pick it up pretty far north of where I am, but I know there's a dealership fairly, a Tesla dealership fairly, fairly close to where I live. Um, so I might cancel that order and just drive up there and, and see if they have the, uh, see if they have it. Um, I'll have to do it tomorrow. And you know, I'm not, I'm probably not going to cancel the order either. If it ships tomorrow, then you know it's too late, and I, I won't do that. But I but if it, if it does ship tomorrow, then that means it's probably going to get here fairly soon. Uh, just to be able to have the faster charging, because uh, the way they kind of uh, measure the energy in the car is by how many miles it can drive. And your standard outlet, so the battery holds like three hundred and thirty. Hi, bud. Hi, hi, buddy. He's such a good boy. Uh, the battery holds, um, I think it's like 300, like 30, 340 uh, miles that it can travel. And I, I, that's prob that's also probably at like the, uh, like if I'm not using any of the other features that require electricity. Um, so uh, a standard 10, uh, yeah, pfft, a standard uh, 110 volt outlet uh charges it at uh, five miles per hour. And I don't mean that in speed. You just kind of nudged my arm there. I don't mean that in speed. I mean, it gives back five miles worth of charge into the battery every hour. So hopefully when I get that that uh, that uh, adapter that plugs into the 220 or 240 or whatever it is, volt outlet, then that'll go up significantly. We'll see though. Manatee! Manatee! 
Manatee! It is Sunday. Oh my god. The weekend has been so, like, exhausting for me. On Friday, I played D&D, which uh, I recommend checking out. Shadow of Asmodia campaign. Uh, it might be prudent to check out the other campaigns that preceded it, including Eyes of Asmodia and The Misdemeanor. But uh, today was the finale, and it destroyed me emotionally. And then I played Deltarune Chapter 2 for seven hours. <laughs> so Saturday I did pretty much nothing. Uh, except I did play a little bit with Steven and friends. I was supposed to have game night tonight. Um, but I was, I was kind of like maxing, maxing and relaxing. He, of course, as soon as I can get the camera on him, is being a goof. He doesn't know how to roll over. He can roll over on command as well, but right now he's being a little impatient. Because he's tired and he wants to go to bed. But yeah. That, so Saturday I pretty much took the day off and recorded a little bit with Steven and friends. Because I like hanging out with, uh, with, with friends and that was fun. We played some broken phone. Uh, and then... Uh, tonight... Uh, I mostly... I mostly did nothing again just because like I'm still... There, th there's been a whole thing this past week with me just like being exhausted... I so let's let's recount everything that I did this week. Spent a freaking long time on the phone with Bank of America. Hosted Yu-Gi-Oh night, which uh, I don't host that often, so I'm not used to it. Which kind of makes me um uh want to no hold on I, I, I'm not really used to it, so so I get t very exhausted easily doing it. So I need to I need to build up that muscle, that social muscle. Um, I got emotionally destroyed at D and D. Uh, I played Deltarune for seven hours, uh, <laughs> and ended off playing uh, playing Among Us with uh, with uh, chilled Z Apex and a bunch of other people tonight, and uh, that was a uh, that was a lot of fun. S um, oh my god, I'm very tired. If you haven't noticed, <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to shut off this camera, crawl into bed, and I will see you all in the next week. Later.